new camera for Christmas. Um, my husband bought me one. It's not a, a massive brilliance, like massive YouTubers type of camera. It is still just a little Nikon Coolpix, um, pretty little camera, digital camera, but it'll do me. Um, I'm never going to be a big YouTuber, so I don't have to worry about, you know, all of that. Um, but the quality is a lot better and the angle um, of the lens is a lot wider. So that's all I care about. Um, and I think it's got autofocus. I'm still figuring that one out, so do bear with me. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I certainly did. Um, we we did our quiz and um, so we each had to, had to answer a question before we could open a present. It was a lot of fun and instead of it taking only 5-10 minutes for us to open our presents and then for us to be sat there going, now what? Um, it took us an hour and a half to open our presents and there wasn't a lot of presents beneath the tree um, but it it helped to add to the fun and sometimes we didn't get them right and um, and so we had to wait a turn until we could answer another question and get a present so yeah it was a lot of fun we had a great day and yeah I was very very happy I forgot the stuffing though on my Christmas dinner I'm so upset with myself I love stuffing anyway we're not here to talk about Christmas well we are it's the 12 days of Christmas project pan finale so I did this um, project pan with the fantastic ladies uh, I will link their Facebook page below and all their details and everybody else who was doing this collab this project pan was based on the song the 12 days of Christmas you know my true love gave to me uh, 12 drummers drumming five gold rings, partridge in a pear tree, all of those sorts of things. So yeah, I am here to show you my finale. So we'll start at the top with 12 drum drummers drumming and that was my Laura Mercier caviar stick in Amethyst. I absolutely loved this and I'm pleased to say that I've used it all up I used the last bit of it this morning. There is a little bit left in there. Um, I'm not going to start digging around into it though. Um, I have more than enough eyeshadows. I don't need to be digging around into this one. Um, but I really did like this. It was so quick and easy. It was nicely um, blendable. Um, and you could have a stunning eye look with just this and a transition shade. Um, if you can see it on my eyes today I just absolutely love it um, I would definitely be happy to receive another one of these um, I got this from my mother-in-law who got it from Birchbox um, I no longer receive Birchbox and neither does she and I doubt very much they'd get another one of these in Birchbox um, but I would definitely be happy to um, purchase one of these or a set of these. I have found a set of them including the amethyst uh, shade at um, oh where was it? Uh, not House of Fraser um, but Harvey Nichols that's where I saw them <laughs> you know when it just pops into your head. Harvey Nichols I've seen uh, they do a set of four uh, of the miniature ones like this and it includes amethyst so and it's only £29 so I'm umming and ahhing about that so that's done that's my first item out of the way 11 pipers piping well uh, that was in my I Heart Makeup Chocolate Love palette and it was the shade Ganache I hit this on gold at my first update but I will just show you again that is this one so this was a beautiful transition shade color um, really really enjoyed using that um, so yeah I hit that goal at my first update for 10 Lords Leaping I, I was using the Essence gel nail polish 
in Kiss the Freaky Frog. It's not actually one of those gel polishes that you have to set with a UV lamp. Um, it does just set on its own. Um, I am down to here. I didn't get much use in the first update. Um, but I am now down to here, which is just where the word essence begins. So um, I did watch my intro video back just to see uh, what my goal was for this and I didn't actually set one so I think personally for me getting down to the word essence is enough of a goal um, to say that I've used it and um, gotten some good use out of it. I use this in many different ways, I used it on its own, I used it with a like a shimmery white topper which made it look like um, frozen um, and then I used it with a pink glitter topper uh, which made it look quite festive actually I was looking for a red glitter topper but apparently in the hundreds of nail polishes that I own or over a hundred that I own I don't own a red glitter topper so that's something I'm on the lookout for if you know of any that I might like Please let me know in the comments down below because I'm definitely looking out for a red glitter topper. I can't believe I don't have one already. Essence, you need to come out with one. I love Essence. Um, so yeah, I think I've definitely hit goal on that one. So I'm very, very pleased with that one. For Nine Ladies Dancing, uh, we go back to the Chocolate Love Palette. And the original goal for this was to hit pan in this shade here which was love but at the last update um i had to swap this out because um it kept hitting hard pan and um then i tried to repress it and it's still hitting hard pan i've never had that happen to me with a makeup revolution or an eye heart makeup uh, eyeshadow before but nothing's helping it so I swapped it out for this shade here, which is Flavor, and if I can, there, can you see? I hit pan! So to have swapped this out kind of last minute, and then to still hit goal, to hit pan, um, I was very chuffed with myself. Um, I used that to set my eyes, um, you know, my um, eye base. So I wasn't surprised when I hit pan at all um, because I use that every time I do eye makeup. Uh, for Eight Maids Milking, um, I was using the Essence White Eyeliner. Um, one thing I've learned about eyeliners, I don't use a lot. So um, if you can see here, this was where I started, then I had a little bit of use, a little bit more of use, and then I had quite a bit of use in this last update. This was my goal, so sort of here. Um, so yeah, um, I didn't use a lot um, of this white eyeliner, um, but I definitely got quite a bit of use out of it. I'd say I've got about a centimetre, centimetre and a half use out of it. So I don't need too many white eyeliners in my collection. That is for darn sure. This one will do. Um, so yeah, I didn't hit goal with that, but I used it, you know, I used at least a centimetre and a half. And I think the goal that I set was kind of pushing it. So um, didn't hit goal, but I'm not too worried about it, if you know what I mean. For Seven Swans of Swimming, I was using my Royal Jelly Body Lotion. I used this up pretty quickly. This is just, the, um, just to catch up kind of thing. So yeah, I used all of that up. Uh, that helped me fall in love with body lotions. So now I use one every time I come out of the shower and my skin is lovely and soft and yeah, really glad I put that in my um, project pan because it helped me fall in love with body lotions. So I can use all my body lotions up. 
Okay, for six geese a laying, I went into my Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 palette. And it's this one. You can see my beautiful camera. Woo -woo. Um, so this was another swap out. So originally I had this shade here, which was Regeneration. Um, but I could see I wasn't getting anywhere with it. So I swapped it out for this one, which was Reincarnation. And as you can see, I hit pan. Hey! So again, another very successful swap um, because um, I was able to hit pan on that um, matte shade far better than I was ever going to hit pan on the shimmery shade. So note to self, stop putting shimmery shades into project pans. So, which I did on my seven deadly sins so i put two of them <laughs> uh for five gold rings i was using this rimmel uh five piece set and my goal was to hit gold hit pan on the gold shade but as you can see not much is happening there however i have been using i don't know if you can see it's got a bit dark I've been using this black shade and I've got quite a bit of a dip going on there so I've been trying to use um, black liquid eyeliner and practice with it um, but what I found is it, it can like bleed or it can smudge quite easily on me so what I've been doing is using this black here um, in order to set the liquid eyeliner so I have been getting some use out of this but not on the color that I originally intended to um, I've not hit pan on that black so I'm again counting this as not hit goal um, even though I did get minimal use out of the product so uh, for four calling birds I was using this red blush lip liner so the shade is red blush uh, and it is an essence lip liner and it's obviously a red it was a beautiful beautiful color and on this one uh, you can see here was my starting line and then I this was the first update the second update and then this is where I am at now this was my goal so I am I'd say about a centimetre away from the goal so although this didn't quite hit goal I'm definitely saying that I got some good use out of it so I'm calling this done because this is definitely a lot shorter than it was when it started so I'm calling that done for three French hens, I was using my um, NYX Lip Lingerie in French Made. Now, I don't know if you can see, but can you see the, the emptiness here? So, um, yeah, you can definitely see light through there. Um, I think my goal for this was just to get use out of it, visible use out of it, and I can see visible use. Um, I can scrape along the sides and I'm seeing like, um, you know, sunshine through the bottle. So, and this was practically brand new when I put it in the project pan, so I am really, really glad that I got the use out of this, so I'm calling this goal hit so that's brilliant another one down for two turtle doves i'd um i think this was last update i'd used the two masks um so yeah i was really really happy with both of these the manuka honey one was great because it was a peel off one and it was a lot of fun the blemish mud one 
it had um, a very strong aloe vera scent to it. So it did catch my breath a little with my asthma. But it soon settled down and I was able to wear it for the full time. Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't use all of it in one go. So I put some of it into a pot and then completely forgot about it. And it went mouldy. And it had only been in the pot for about a week, two weeks. But it had gone mouldy. And I was like, oh my god, no. Um, so yeah, do be careful. Um... You have to either use it all up in one go or throw what you don't use out because it doesn't keep in a pot. It goes mouldy and that was quite scary. Um, so I had to really properly rinse out that pot. Um, and then the final one was Partridge in a Pear Tree. This is the product I am most happy about because I really wanted to get this out of my collection. It was the Simple Hydrating cleansing oil and um, it says dissolves makeup and no greasy residue that's fine and true but it's greasy when you're applying it and I didn't like that so I had to wear like vinyl gloves like um, surgical gloves you know on my hands so I could apply it to my face um, because even though I put this on a cotton pad to apply I was then getting the the greasy residue still on my hands because I was then using that hand to rub the cotton pad onto my face so yeah um, <laughs> uh, we started up here so we weren't a full bottle but we were two-thirds of the way through then we were to there to there that was the last no sorry this was the last update we didn't have much left and then now we are all gone yay so i am so happy to have this out of my collection very very happy about that um so out of 12 products i managed to hit goal on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten items yay go me my most successful project plan yet so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I will hopefully see you